Office of Chehalis Basin has invested in projects that have dual flood reduction and ecosystem benefits. In Grays Harbor and Lewis counties, two erosion management pilot projects have been completed. Just outside of Brady, Washington, along a two-mile stretch of the Satsop River, the Grays Harbor Conservation District has been working with landowners since 2020 to develop an aquatic species restoration project and involves planting riparian vegetation and installing engineered log jams to increase habitat complexity, connect floodplains, and slow erosion. Due to the large scale of the overall plan, design and permitting can take multiple years before construction is able to proceed, with further construction planned for summer 2023 and 2024. Since 1991, one of the main project landowners has lost approximately 30 acres of riparian forest and farmland, causing irreversible flood damage to their farm and increasing risk to their home. The project created an instant riparian buffer using six foot to 10 foot long native cottonwood and willow live poles. The 350 poles were installed in two rows parallel to the bank in February, 2022 by the district crew and a Washington Conservation Corps crew of five. The team used a one-person motorized auger to create pilot holes and then used a pneumatic post pounder to drive the poles anywhere from three feet to eight feet down. Cottonwoods and willows are used in many river restoration projects due to their ability to propagate from live cuttings and establish root systems quickly in highly dynamic river environments. Using cuttings mimics their natural adaptation of colonizing flood disturbed areas from branches that have broken off existing cottonwood and willow plants. Due to the rate of erosion on this property, the district decided to use larger and longer live cuttings. Installing them deeper than a typical live cutting project has also helped to more quickly jumpstart erosion reduction. Over the course of almost a year, the project continues to be monitored closely. As of September 2022, about 80% of the installed poles have survived. Maintenance and monitoring of this pilot project will continue through spring 2023. In March 2022, the property on State Route 508 near River Mile 18.5 was identified as a high priority because of its proximity to the South Fork of the New Walkham River. Aggressive erosion had been threatening damage to the home. Also known as the McBriar Project, the Office of Chehalis Basin worked with the Lewis County Conservation District on a plan to act fast to save this home. The South Fork of the New Walkham River had moved nearly 20 feet in the last year, encroaching on the home. In September and October, contractors and engineers constructed crib wall jams with tree trunks and timber piles that were embedded 8 to 11 feet down. They regraded the upper bank of the river, installed erosion control fabric and live willow fascines, and prepared the site for vegetative planting. This fast-paced project is complete and is now in the monitoring stage.